Have you ever seen someone chugging a protein shake after their workout? Have you ever been one of those people? Well, this is stemming from a belief that we need to be eating protein right after we work out, like within 20 minutes of a workout to fully maximize our muscle growth potential. But is this actually true? Protein. Protein. Protein is an essential macronutrient. Protein is definitely the biggest lever that you can pull. It should be more protein focused. You don't get enough protein. Timing of protein intake really matters. 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 There's a term in the world of exercise science called the anabolic window. This anabolic window is the time right after exercising where your body is thought to be more in need and more receptive to protein for muscle building. So this is the period in which your muscles are in repair mode. They're fixing damaged muscle and they're building new muscle. Now, it's been thought that if you've missed out on eating protein during that start of the anabolic window, then you've lost your chance to maximize your muscle growth potential. Huh? But more research is coming out saying that this actually isn't the whole picture. This anabolic muscle growing window is the most potent right after exercising, but it can actually last for 24 to even 48 hours from when you exercise. But it tapers off over that time. It, it becomes less potent over time. But so that's actually a long time to be repairing and actually building muscle. So what is the optimal window for eating protein around exercising? Well, the timing when you eat protein might not need to be as precise as we once thought. Really, it depends on how much protein is already in your body. So how do your muscles use protein to actually build more muscle? Well, proteins are made up of amino acids. Amino acids are these really small molecules that when you stack them in certain configurations, they can make up a protein. Now, your body can use these amino acids to assemble more muscle. This process is called muscle protein synthesis. These amino acids are like the bricks of a building. They're the raw material for actually building more muscle. So when you use those amino acids, you're actually adding volume to your muscle. That's one reason why your muscles are getting bigger when you exercise, because you're actually putting more material onto them. You can also use these amino acids to repair damaged muscle. So they're really key. Amino acids are so important during that phase when your muscles are being repaired and built. So it makes sense that you'd want to be eating amino acids around the time when you're exercising, right? So say you walk into the gym and you've fasted for quite a while. Maybe you work out in the morning and you haven't eaten anything yet that morning. So you've fasted all night. Well, your body is pretty starved of amino acids. So if you don't eat any protein after you've exercised during that morning, then your body is gonna have a hard time building very much muscle because there's not many amino acids that are too actually used to build. That's why so many people say that you should eat protein right after you've worked out to ensure that you have enough readily available amino acids to help you not only replenish those damaged muscles, but to actually build new muscle. So in that case, you would wanna eat protein as soon as possible after you've worked out. But take another example. Say you walk to the gym having eaten a protein-rich meal two hours before that workout. Well, in that case, if this protein-rich meal is slow digesting, so your body is slowly working on breaking down those foods throughout that time on into your workout and even after, then your body is making amino acids readily available during that time. So when your muscles start repairing and building in that anabolic window post-exercise, then they have amino acids ready to use. So do you need to be eating protein right after you work out in that case? Probably not as much. It depends on how much protein you got before you worked out and how quickly this meal digested. If that meal was fast digesting, you might have actually gone through all those amino acids before you even started your resistance training. How can you tell if a protein is slow or fast digesting? Well, whey protein is actually really fast digesting. It's readily absorbed into the bloodstream shortly after you've eaten it. Whey actually comes from the process of making cheese. It's that watery part remaining after the milk has been curdled. So you could have a whey protein supplement right after you work out and your body's gonna get those amino acids very quickly. Another protein 
is called casein. Casein is very slow digesting. So casein, when it enters the stomach, it reacts with the stomach acid and it becomes kind of glue-like. It's, it's much thicker and hard to process and digest. In that case, it's not necessarily bad that you have a hard time digesting. It just is going to take longer to digest, which means that your body is going to be getting a more steady supply of amino acids as your body works on that casein. So in that case, you can use casein before you work out. You can eat some casein prior to your workout and then have readily distributed amino acids throughout your workout and after. Now, what foods have casein? Dairy. Casein is also derived from milk. It makes up about 80% of the total protein found in milk. The other 20% is coming from whey protein. So any dairy products, I mean, milk, cheese, yogurt, cottage cheese, I mean, all of those have quite a lot of casein. Now, some studies actually suggest eating casein before going to bed because it's gonna give you that distribution of amino acids throughout the night. It's gonna last a pretty long time. And you know, when you sleep, you're actually building and repairing a lot of muscle during that time. So it could be a great way to give your body a boost of amino acids during that muscle remodeling process. Here's a list of slow and fast digesting proteins. Feel free to pause the video so you can reference these. There could be kind of an upper limit. If you ate a fast digesting meal with a bunch of protein, you could actually spike your amino acid levels to above what your body could actually utilize within that period of time. And so any excess amino acid, but they would basically be wasted. I mean, they'd be used for energy, um, maybe stored as fat, but they wouldn't necessarily be used for that muscle protein synthesis. So you kind of want to be mindful about how much protein you're eating and when you're eating it. You, you really want to try to spread out your protein consumption throughout your day so that you have a more regular distribution of amino acids for your body to use throughout the day for muscle protein synthesis. So if you've had a protein rich meal, you know, around the time that you exercise, could be a couple hours before, a couple hours later, you're likely giving your body a good amount of amino acids to work with during that muscle protein synthesis window. Now, if it's further than that, if it's like, say you're working out four to six hours after you ate that protein rich meal, your amino acid level is gonna be much lower. There's gonna be less readily available amino acids to use during that muscle protein synthesis. So you'd likely wanna supplement with more protein close to when you've exercised. Now, you're kind of seeing probably this is a bit of a gradient. It's not an all or nothing thing. So experiment with it. The other thing I'll say is that if you're exercising regularly, like four to six times a week, and you're doing resistance exercise, you're actually trying to build muscle, you're gonna be in this muscle building window almost the entire time, right? So you're gonna be able to basically utilize all those amino acids almost always when you eat the protein rich meal. So that's something also to keep in mind. Now, if you're really serious about building muscle, then you might wanna time it a little bit more just to be sure that your body has enough amino acids available and ready to use. But again, if you're like, well, I wanna build muscle, but I don't, I'm not like a bodybuilder or anything, then you can likely have quite a bit of flexibility in when you eat your protein. Now, if you wanna dig into the research a bit more, I put a link to all of the resources that I referenced for this video in the description. So go ahead and check that out. If you want more videos explaining cool and interesting facts about your brain and body, subscribing to the channel is one of the best ways you can support me in getting more videos out to you. And if you've already subscribed, sharing this video with friends is another huge way to support the channel. Okay, I'll see you next time.